All right, guys. Uh, we'll do uh, the bottom of page nine of your graph packet. I'll have to have you guys number those today. Uh, we're getting some help with the bottom of page six eighty, uh, page six eighty seven with thirty one through thirty six, and it's these guys. We just did a couple in class yesterday. Uh, this setup we're dealing with is the one I just have at home because I've got this thing at home right now. Uh, just trying to get caught up on the videos and get you guys in the right direction. So remember, we talked about yesterday. I don't care how you guys know this, but you have to convert these to exact values. Remember, they want exact values. And those exact values are fractions with these guys. So they want the sine of 30 degrees. Well, the sine of 30 degrees from the unit circle, if we just kind of draw what we're looking at, it's right here. And that means reference angle is 30, so it's going to be... 1 over 2, so th that's going to be 1 half. Subtract cosine of pi over 3, so this is 30 degrees. The cosine of pi over 3 is the same as 60 degrees. So if I look at my triangle, it's 60 degrees, which is going to equal root 3, and this will be 1, and that'll be 2. So the cosine of pi over 3 is going to be 1 half. So, uh, one half minus, that's a horrible one half, uh, one half minus one half is going to equal zero. So my answer will be zero because I'm just subtracting fraction. The biggest thing is you got to convert these. So let's go over here and look at this one. So if we look at this one, I've got my two. So I'm going to put a parenthesis around this and a parenthesis around that. So again... We got to know where the tangent of 45 is. So I've got my 2 here, and I've got my 3. So the tangent of 45, 45 is in the first quadrant. Well, if it's 45, that means it is a 1, a 1, and a root 2. So the tangent of 45 is going to be root 2 over 2. Because, oh, scrap that. My brain just went dead. So we'll just put a line through that. 2 over 1. 1 over 1 plus 3. I did. I accidentally did sign. I wanted tangent up here. So we're going to do 1. <clears throat> so this is 3. Uh, 3 times the sine. So that was the tangent of 45 degrees. The sine of pi over 6, which is the same as 30 degrees, is going to be what we just found over here. It's the same as 30 degrees. 30 degrees, opposite sides 1, root 3, and this is 2. Oops, I'm a little low there, sorry. And then opposite over hypotenuse, so this one's 1 half. So... Now we've got our math here. 2 times 1 is 2. This multiplies to the denominator, which gives us 3 halves. And again, let's do our little trick for fractions. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 over 2. That is my answer. So again, just work with the fractions. Start looking at how you can tackle the fractions and do all the different pieces uh, of adding the fractions. But again, you've got to learn to convert these. If you're not memorizing the unit circle or you're not working with uh, special right triangles, one of these things has to happen for you guys to start getting these problems is being able to tackle the, the unit circles and those pieces there. All right, that's the help on page 687, 31 through 36.